Ooh, a pretty green one. Ooh, and I like this blue one. Ooh, a yellow one. Ooh, what are you going a purple on one. about, George? I'm picking out all the markers that we could never use in the Cricut Explorer before because we're getting the Chomas Creations adjustable pen and marker holders. Wow. So we will be able to try out all those markers and pens we haven't been able to use before. In these two. Oh, that's a lot of work. Hi, and welcome to Crafts by Two. I'm George. And I'm Ken. And today we have the opportunity to test the Chomas Creations adjustable pen and marker holder. These are replacements for the accessory holder in your Cricut Explore. So you can pop out the plastic accessory holder yep. and place these holders in instead. And the reason there's two is because the pen holder is a little more narrow. Oops and the marker holder is a little wider. So depending upon the shapes of the pens or markers you wanna use, you need to have the pen holder or the marker holder. So two really cool facts about these is they're light lathed aluminum. So they're really light. They almost feel like plastic, but they're made out of aluminum. And they're made right here in the USA. And you guys know how much we love products made in the USA. So, uh, Ken, how did all the markers I picked out work out? Seeing that you did all the work. They came out really well. And we did a comparison between using the proper pen holder or using a narrow pen in the marker holder. For those of you who might be thinking you could save a few bucks by only buying one. We'll let you know ahead of time, doesn't work out too well. You really wanna buy both. Not only that, but if you wanna save a few bucks, we have a discount code. Yep, Chomas Creations is very generously giving us a 10% off coupon code, and we'll be giving you that at the end. So you have to see how things come out first. And the discount code is good until the end of the year on your total purchase, 10% off. Wow. And not only do they have the adjustable pen holders and marker holders, they have an embossing tip, plus lots of great kits that come with pens and markers also. So there's lots of opportunities for you to browse their site and check out what they have to offer. And the 10% code isn't good just on Explore accessories. It's on everything on their site. So if you have an Expression 2, if you have the original Cricut, even if you have a Cameo, you can buy the accessories and save money. In this review, we're reviewing the marker holder and the pen holder. When purchased, you'll get one of the holders and a popsicle stick which you'll see during our demonstration is used to make sure that you have the pen at the right height and then some instructions. For our demonstration we're doing the marker holder and the pen holder. So the difference is the marker holder is a little bit bigger so you can hold the wider markers and then the pen holder is a little bit more narrow and they're the same size as far as what goes into your device but they're sized a little differently to have the height and uh, the width of the pens and the reason for the different widths is that you'll have the markers and you'll see in the center the little screw fastener you'll want to make sure that the marker or the pen is centered in the holder so that way you know when you're drawing from design space that they're going to be centered appropriately where design space is expecting the tip of the pen to be 
Otherwise, if you, for example, put a regular pen into the marker holder, you'll see that it goes kind of way over to the side instead of centered. And that's going to have it be off-center when you're drawing. So that's why they also have the pen holder. So when you have the pen holder and it's tightened in, everything's much more centered. These are very light. Comparing them to the original holder that was in the Cricut Explore, um, even though it's metal, it's very lightweight. It's not going to weigh down your Cricut or cause extra weight or wear or tear on your machine. And the marker one is even closer to the original one just because there's less metal involved. This one feels pretty much comparable in weight to the plastic that you'll find in the Cricut Explorer. So we're going to follow the instructions provided by Choma's Creations. And step one is to remove the plastic marker holder by loosening the gray clamp and gently pushing and pulling the piece at the same time. So we'll open the clamp and then I'm just going to push a little from the bottom and just kind of gently give it a wiggle while pushing it on the bottom and then it pops right out. Uh, it is a little tight at first but you'll see that this can compress a little and then you have this piece out which you can set aside. We've had reports of this snapping and removing this is not a regular feature of the Cricut Explorer. So if you break it, there's no guarantee that Cricut is going to replace this piece for you. But Cricut does have these holders on their Cricut shop for just $1.99, and you can always order a replacement. So if you're worried about it, or maybe if you find you're using the holders a lot instead of the original Cricut accessory holder, um, you may find that you've misplaced the holder. You can order them very cheaply from the Cricut store, and we'll have a link to that in our description on the video and on our blog. Then you take your adjustable holder. You want to have it with the two lines at the top and then the screw facing forward. So you place that in with it facing forward and just make sure that it's seated well and close the clamp. So that's in there very solid. You don't have to worry about that flipping around. And that's at a little bit of an angle because I'm doing this from the side. So I'm just adjusting that a little. That's better. So now this is the popsicle stick that you were given and you can pretty much get away with any popsicle stick. They're pretty standard width. So if you misplace this one, any of the little craft sticks like I saw some at Tuesday morning, you get a bag for like 200 something for a couple bucks. So you should have some of these handy. And you just place this under and place your pen through. Make sure it's lightly resting on the popsicle stick. And then tighten down the screw. And in case you're worried, don't forget righty tighty, lefty loosey. <laughs> so now that's in there and secure. And one thing in our testing that I want to point out is when I did this the first time, I did it when the machine was off. But you'll notice how when you turn it on, the machine kind of adjusts itself and then you'll hear it whirring and adjusting the height of your items. I found that when I did it with the machine off, it wasn't at the right height and I went to write on the paper and it just wrote, it was just floating above the paper instead of being at the right height. So I recommend turning your machine on and then doing your placement and adjustment. And when you're doing that, remember it should just lightly rest on the popsicle stick. You don't want this pushing down so hard that when you take the popsicle stick out that it is, you know, too much tension. You want this very lightly resting on there. 
So now everything's in place and ready to go. For the pen holder, I do have a couple different things I'm going to try. I have a Crayola kind of crayon pen. And then a glaze or glaze <laughs> a gel pen. And these are very similar to the gel pens, um, the white gel pens I've used a lot. And I was always kind of disappointed that the gel pens didn't work in the original Cricut holder. So this will be nice to work with the pen holder. And that's all I have that fits in the pen holder. One thing I'm also going to try, a regular mechanical pencil. And this one you'll notice has that big grip on the front. And this one I'm going to test my theory that this is going to fit in the marker holder, but that might not be the best place to use it because as I was mentioning earlier, comparing the two, that I feel this is probably going to be off-center from what the Cricut is expecting. So I'm going to try a test where I'm going to have two things written on top of each other in the marker holder, one with a fine point marker and then one with this pencil to see about that alignment issue. But this one, the little finger rest there probably will come off easily and then I can use it in the pen holder and probably get the proper alignment. Here are the results with the pen holder. So first is the glaze or glaze <laughs> gel pen. And I did a Cricut font quarter note, and then I did a Cricut writing style cake basics, and then I did a image of a fleur-de-lis along with it. Overall, it did a really good job, but you really note that when using the Cricut and writing styles, you really need to test your pen, the materials, and the font to see how they all work together. You'll notice that you can clearly see where this gel pen start and stopped because there's an extra heavy layer of ink in some places. This is especially obvious here in the fleur-de-lis where you can see around the curves the gel pen was just laying down a very heavy layer of ink so anywhere that it had to kind of cross paths again or the pen was moving a little slower, you can definitely see those extra little splotches of ink. One thing that's a little hard to see in this lighting is the gel pen is a glitter pen, and it does have kind of a very nice shiny quality to it when it's under um, the direct light. So those splotches actually give it a little bit of dimension and a little bit of character. One thing to keep in mind when you're using any writing on the Cricut Explorer, and not just with the Chomas adjustable holder, is you want to be careful about making sure that your writing doesn't go underneath the rollers. Here you can see on the uppercase C in cake that the ink wasn't dry enough and it passed under the roller and actually got smeared a little bit. This is the mechanical pencil, and it did pretty good. It gives a very fine line. And the only concern I had with the pencil is just like a comment I'm going to make about the Crayola, unlike having ink, it runs out because it's not applying more pressure to the pen as it's writing. It's simply maintaining a constant pressure as it's writing across the page. And when I attached the graphic and the writing together in design space, 
it separates out the letters. So it wrote these in a very different order. If I zoom in, you can see that. Here in the word system, the S was one of the first things it wrote on the page, and then this Y was actually one of the last things it wrote. So it was jumping around doing different letters on the lettering when it was writing. So you can see it did really, really well at the start with a nice crisp dark line, but by the time it got to the end, it was much finer. And I'll show you in a moment, this actually is a little bit better than the Crayola came out. This is an image from the Cricut Basics. I think that was it. <laughs> and it drew it really well. Nice fine lines, and there's not, you can barely tell, I think just because I know it, that's where it started and stopped, that you can kind of see a little bit of deviation. Unlike the gel pen, it gave a pretty smooth and consistent line. Finally, this is the sample from the Crayola. And you can tell beyond this being a pink, it didn't hold up very well. Uh, this is a line, just me drawing as I normally would with it. The problem was, as I mentioned with the pencil, it really didn't maintain that consistent pressure that something like the Crayola will need. This portion of the mechanical pencil doing the Crunchery Life font from Cricut started out very well, and you'll notice though it really petered out the longer it wrote. This was all one writing with the pen or the Crayola crayon mounted in the holder. What happened though was the tip, because of the consistent downward pressure, from being in the holder in the Cricut Explorer, it flattened out the tip. Whereas normally when you're writing, you'd be holding it at more of an angle, developing a point. And for me personally, it's kind of natural to kind of rotate the pen a little bit, especially with a pencil or in this case, the crayon to keep kind of a consistent sharp point. But with the constant downward motion in the holder, it really just flattened out the tip. And you can see this exhibited even more later on where I had done the portion up top with the country life with one placement of the crayon in the holder. Then it actually did realize that it was the pencil at that point asked me for that. And then this run was another placement of the Crayola in the holder. So here, this was kind of the consistent starting pressure, but then down here you can see it gets even fainter when I get down to the Don Juan in a writing style as opposed to the Don Juan Cricut outline font. And then here is another shape, and it's very faint at this point, just because by the time it drew the shape, it had been in the holder writing all that text, and it had gotten flattened out, plus being a crayon, not ink, it was getting used up. So by the time it got here, it was very light on the paper as you were writing with it. But both the comments with this Crayola and with the mechanical pencil are because of the medium itself. It had nothing to do with the holder. If you were able to use this in the rec regular Cricut accessory holder, you would run into these same issues. I didn't have any of these types of mediums that would work in the regular Cricut accessory holder, so I didn't have a pencil or a crayon that would work before. So the Chomas adjustable holder really does open up those opportunities to try different mediums, and some work better than others, but it's really because of the medium itself, not because of the holder. I just want to make that clear. So this is the marker holder. I'm going to place it into the accessory, close the clamp. I've got the two lines at the top and the tightening screw facing the front. Then I use the popsicle stick accessory. Don't know if you can see it, but you can see it down at the bottom. Then you place your pen in and 
This one needs a little encouragement to get through the center. So I place it so it's touching the popsicle stick and tighten the screw on the front, not clamping it down tight, but just enough to hold it in there. Then I can remove the popsicle stick. This purple at the top is the Plumtastic Purple from Bic Markets. And one of the reasons we have these in our collection is these are inexpensive alcohol-based markers that you can use with the blender from the Copic markers and blend very similar to the more expensive Copic markers. But you can buy like sets of these for like $25 or $30 with tons of colors on Amazon. This is a fine tip marker and it did very well in the demo. It had great detail and again you really want to test things out ahead of time. The saturation for this pen is a little high on this paper so it did seep in a little so it kind of kept things from being as crisp as you might want them to be. But these are permanent markers so using this on vinyl might give you incredible results where it won't seep in as much. This did really well. The only thing is here, you can see that this is the first letter it started on and the ink wasn't quite flowing yet. And once again, I know I'm sounding like a broken record, that's the pen, it has nothing to do with the holder because you can see it was a very dark, consistent line once it was writing. It was simply not starting out well. So you really wanna make sure that you're priming your markers, scribbling on a little piece of paper ahead of time and storing them so the ink will flow properly from the marker tips. This did really well, and this was the stencil font from our OSX system. The final pen on this sheet is a Wink of Stella pen, and again, the recording isn't doing it justice, but there is a really nice glitter effect to the writing. And this was the Animal Antics font, from Cricut. It drew really well, a nice fine line. This paper actually handled it well where there wasn't a ton of saturation at the start and end points, but you can still see them. But I don't know if I would have chosen this font for a project because it doesn't really write as well as it probably cuts with these little extra details. In this example, I want to show the importance of using the proper holder. This is the marker holder, and it's really meant for kind of wider things like this Sharpie. This mechanical pencil really goes in there because of this extra grip, but the body itself is very slim and really is meant to go into the pen holder. The reason for that is this is probably going to be off-center because when I place this in, and use the tightening screw, it's going to push this off to the side instead of having it centered in the holder. So in this example I have um, shapes that I've duplicated and placed them directly on top of each other and attached them in design space. And I'm going to draw them both with the pencil and the pen. And tightening this down, I already know it's kind of going to be a problem because it's really pushing it off to the side. But I'm going to leave it there for this demo. Here's the comparison. You can see they drew in much different places with the yellow kind of being more towards the top of the page. And because of the angle of the pencil in the holder, it was kind of coming in at a downward angle out of the holder 
so that was why it kind of drew a little bit lower. So there was this mechanical pencil and this Sharpie marker. So because the mechanical pencil is so much more narrow than the opening for the marker holder, it was off-centered. This would have been more appropriate for the pen holder, which has a more narrow hole and is able to accommodate the narrower pens. If you were only doing one pen, you could kind of get away with using the marker holder, but you're not going to know that it's going to be drawing precisely where you think it should be. For example, if this was a cut shape that, that I was trying to draw on, the drawing would probably be outside of what was cut. If you imagine that the yellow was where the properly aligned Cricut blade would be cutting, you'd be losing this portion at the bottom and have this white edge at the top. Here's an example of the off-centered pencil not really completing the shape. You can see that there's a gap here between these two lines. The Sharpie also started in that position, and there is that little blob, but that's the nature of the pen and the paper itself. It's not something due to the adjustable holder from Choma's Creations. And here's a close-up of the other shape where you can see how off-centered things are. It's a little hard to tell because of the different pen types, but this also drew a much more consistent shape, whereas the pencil was a little more narrow at the top and a little wider at the bottom. The takeaway from this demo is if you're going to invest in the adjustable holders from Choma's Creations, you really want to make sure that you're buying the holder that's appropriate for the pens you want to use, either the narrower pen tool or the wider marker tool. You can't get away by just getting the marker tool and hoping that you can slip on a grip from something like this mechanical pencil and that it will work out because it still held it at an angle. Not only is there the discount code, but there's a chance, George, that one of our viewers could win their choice of a pen holder or a marker holder in a drawing. Wait, so if I watch this, I can win maybe? No, you can't oh, win, yeah. George. Okay. It's for our viewers. So. They deserve it. Yeah. For sitting through some of these. <laughs> so we'll have a drawing where you can enter your email and have a chance to win one of your choices a pen holder or a marker or a holder. Marker holder. So check the description for the link. So my final thoughts with these are they're really great. They open up a lot of possibilities and they're really versatile. So if you're using the markers and pens that already fit in the Cricut Explorer, they'll fit in these too. But if you're using these, it opens up a whole realm of new possibilities. So there were different things we tried, like mechanical pencils, which we couldn't use before. Uh, you might not get the great results for writing long phrases <laughs> with those, but you can get some nice effects and the Wink of Stella, lots of cool stuff. So I think these are definitely worth it if you're the kind who's going to be switching around to lots of different pens. Or if you're the type of crafter that already has a room full of pens, instead of just using the ones that fit in the accessory holder, these give you the ability to use everything in your craft room, in your Explore, or your Expression 2, or your Cameo, or whatever kind of cutting machine you have. Well, you have to buy the holders for those machines. Well, yeah, but... but they give you a whole realm of possibilities. So, playing around with this, my only downside would be if you're somebody who switches between pens and the Cricut scoring tool a lot in your designs, you do have to pop the plastic holder for the accessory holder back into your Explorer. Makes sense. So switching between the Chomas holder and the Cricut holder, that can be a little bit of work. If you're only doing that occasionally, I think these are definitely worth it for all the options they open up for you. Wow, we really did use a lot of pens and markers. 
if people are interested in checking out what pens and markers that we used, Ken will put them in the description. What? Mm -hmm. So remember, if you enjoyed our video, give us a thumbs up and leave a comment. We love hearing from our viewers and we love answering you too. Have you used one of these before? What do you think of them? If you click up there in the corner above Ken's head a little bit, you can subscribe if you're not already subscribed to our channel. Tell your friends about us too. So until next Tuesday, probably not sooner, I have a lot of videos to edit. We'll talk to you later. Bye. Bye. Melody would love this purple one. What are you going on about, George? It's a pen holder. Blah. Definitely worth it for the realm. For... I keep saying that. Yep. <laughs> okay. Or probably sooner. No. Ready?